You want to get Irish shaders in Minecraft 1.21.8? We're going to show you how in this video. First things first, you want to go to the second link down below or just Google Irish shaders download and then go to this page here. Now, if you're on our website, you would scroll down and click Download Iris Shaders to go to the official download page, where all you want to do is click on Download Universal Jar. When you do that, the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file. From there, we also want to get some shader packs, because shader packs for Minecraft, which is what we're Googling here, is how shaders are actually displayed in game. So we have shaders on Modernth and CurseForge. Both of these places are trusted when downloading shaders. So as we can see here, we have these on CurseForge as well. We also have a list linked down below of the best shaders with direct download links to get them. So we're going to go ahead and grab Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders here, as well as if we scroll down, we will grab the Shaders Pack Complementary Shaders, giving you kind of options here for both. So as you can see, we have Complementary Shaders. Now when you're downloading shaders, they may not be for the most recent version. Complementary is, but if they're even a few versions out of date, even for 1.19 for example, sometimes those shader packs can still work, so keep that in mind when you are downloading shader packs. For example, Makeup Ultra Fast here is also up to date to the recent version, but these older versions here are also going to work. So yeah, if it's not for the most recent version, that's perfectly okay. But while this is downloading, how about a message from our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz says SGH. Start a 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs to your server, customize it any way that you want, and get 25% off your first month right now at the breakdown .xyz says SGH. First link down below. Be sure to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Now shaders have been downloaded. We can minimize our browser. I'm gonna move all of this stuff to the desktop, but if we go to our downloads folder here, we'll be able to see Iris and our shader packs. We can go ahead and install Iris by right-clicking on it, clicking on Open With, and clicking Java. If you don't have Java here, it's because you need to get it. You can Google Java 21 Download, or just go to this link in the description down below to get Java set up. You may also need to run the jar fix, which is going to make the jar files, like Iris shaders, work on your computer. But nevertheless, we can go ahead and right-click on Iris Installer, click Open With, and click Java to open up the Iris Installer. All you want to do here is select 1.21 8 iris and click install and it will now install iris into minecraft it's that easy now we need to focus on getting our shader packs in game but to do that i would recommend moving them to our desktop they're not going to live on your desktop forever just until we get them into minecraft so once we open up the minecraft launcher we can go ahead and go to installations at the top and make sure we have this iris installation and play minecraft using it every time you want to play minecraft with iris shaders you'll need to launch your Irish Shaders profile, otherwise it's not going to work unfortunately. To install Shader Packs, just go to Options, Video Settings, and then Shader Packs up here at the top, and then you can drag and drop your Shader Packs directly into this menu. Just like that, they are installed, and you can delete them from your desktop. Now, go ahead and select the Shader Pack you want, complimentary in this case, click Apply, and it will now activate. We can go to Shader Pack Settings, by the way, if you want to change, for example, your profile. If you're running on a lower-end computer, you can change this to Potato or Very Low Settings. If you're higher-end computer, you could go above default there. You can also change specific lighting and all sorts of stuff with all these Shaders Packs. Um, every Shaders Pack's a bit different with the settings it allows you to change, but it is important to check that out because you might be able to change the shader pack. In my opinion, a lot of shader packs are too dark, for example, and in those cases, you can actually change using your shader pack settings and make things a little brighter. But as you can see here, we are now in game and shaders are now active. You can see the, uh, the crops blowing in the wind there. We can even change our shader pack in-game by going to video settings and shaders, switch over to makeup ultra fast. One of the cool things is uh, things look a bit different, a bit brighter, and the shadows are a bit different, the clouds are different, all from just changing your shader pack. If you got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But enjoy shader packs in Minecraft 1.21.8 using Irish shaders, and we'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.